Hi everyone, uh, I'm Dr. Ainun Basira from Department of Ophthalmology, University Science Malaysia. I present on a rare case of orbital melodosis due to gardening. So, uh, melodosis, um, sorry. Melodosis is an infection caused by a gram negative bacilli, Bucoderia pseudomonas. It is endemic in the certain part of the world involving Southeast Asia and Northern Australia. So uh, it can vary. It is a multi-system disease and can vary from benign skin and soft tissue infection to a rapidly forming septicemia. And it occurs predominantly in those with underlying comorbidities, as uh, it is uh, recognized as opportunistic pathogen. And ocular involvement of melodosis is very rare. So my patient is a 54 years old Malay lady with underlying diabetes mellitus and hypertension. She presented with left progressive upper lip swelling and fever for one week. Otherwise, vision was not impaired and she denied diplopia. She denied history of traveling, jungle trekking, but she did some gardening at home every day. Examination revealed a non-septic looking lady. There was left non sj proptosis, meaning the proptosis is uh, non-central with periorbital fullness and redness, as we can see at the first picture. There was a significant limit limitation of the left eye elevation. However, there was no diplopia, as we can see at the second picture. Uh, the rest of ocular examination were unremarkable. Cardiovascular, respiratory and abdomen examination was were normal. Her random capillary blood glucose in what range uh, were uncontrolled, ranging from 9 to 16 millimole per liter. The, uh, her inflammatory blood marker were markedly elevated. Her blood, glu uh, blood culture grew bucoderia pseudomali, which was sensitive to keftazidine, betrim, imipenem, and meropenem. An urgent CT scan of brain and orbit performed short collection at left superolateral extracorneal region. Uh, she was treated with IV keftazidine, 2 gram TDS, then oral betrim was added after four days in view of persistent fever. Then IV keftazidine changed to IV meropenem after consultation with uh, infectious disease physician due to persistent fever and to cover for possibility of a CNS extension. Uh, Atrasal abdomen was normal. Uh, in view of persistent unresolved fever and orbital sign, despite antibiotic, we performed left lateral orbitotomy via lateral cantotomy and drainage of the abscess under general anesthesia. The abscess drain um, and the flamen was sent for culture and sensitivity, uh, which similarly grew uh, bucoderia pseudomaly. Post drainage, the temperature settled down and she uh, deployed. Uh, improved and the extraocular muscle movement was markedly improved. Uh, there was a bilateral multifocal choroiditis later in the course. However, um, uh, it does not uh, show any uh, extension of this. to the vitreous cavity and it is maintained for three months and she is well and shows no sign or symptom uh, on follow-up on uh, upon completion of antibiotics. So uh, Bucoderia pseudomale has natural reservoir in the soil and uh, water which um, uh, direct uh, uh, which can be spread through uh, inhalation or direct contact. So in this patient she is most probably um, obtained the uh, bacteria infection from her Ocular manifestation as reported by Yai Sawang uh, uh, based on his 23 years uh, retrospective review of ocular melodosis. However, uh, he revealed that ocular involvement uh, of melodosis can be devastating as 68% of the patient ended up blind. And uh, melodosis Dosis manifest as orbital abscess, like my case, is very rare and uh, only one case reported in Malaysia in 2008. Uh, although ocular manifestation of melodosis is considered rare, but there's possibility that uh, they will underdiagnose as patients usually treated for life-threatening symptoms and may be missed to be referred to ophthalmologists. So my conclusion is... Um, uh, multidisciplinary approach is required as it can cause uh, significant morbidity and mortality. With that, I thank you.